Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable, valuable video for you. Today, we're going to talk about 10 things to invest in for 2020. Now, like I said, you ain't got to do all of these, but these are just some ideas to get your juices flowing so that way you will get familiar with investing and how to use your money wisely, right? So one thing you're probably asking is why is it so important to invest? Well, it's important because it builds passive income right in time freedom passive income and in time freedom right everybody wants to be free for the most part right so the reason why we want the money and the lifestyle we want to live is so that we can be free we can have more time with our kids we can take more vacations we don't have somebody you know uh, always on our back or whatever so you know when you invest in things for long term you're able to build that you know freedom and you're able to make money and things like that guys and so I'm just going to give you some game right now on some things that you can invest in right now that you can make some profits with later. All right. So let me get right here. Let me exit out of this thing right here. and We're going to get into it. First thing, ATM business. Some of you know about an ATM business. Some of you never heard about the ATM business. And you may have wondered, how could you get into it? Right. So it's a really profitable business model. Uh, lately, it's really been popping up. Very popular. Uh, a lot of people have been buying ATMs since a lot of people are, you know, getting familiar with the credit game and things. They know how it works now. A lot of people are taking advantage of it and starting to invest in things that they always thought about, but they never knew they could get the money for. And so now uh, a lot of people are popping on the scene with these ATM businesses. And so, you know, uh, basically, you know, you get your ATM. This is eBay I'm on right now. Uh, there's a lot of other websites that sell ATMs, but I'm just giving you an example uh, of what you could do. So you can, let's say, purchase an ATM. Either you can save your money or you can use other people's money. If you don't know what I'm talking about on other people's money, there's a video that I'll post either right here or I'll post at the end so you can find out how you'll be able to get money to do all of this stuff that I'm telling you about. All right. So this right here is, let's say, 2300 right? You get the ATM. You can go to things like barbershops, right? You can go to places like uh, like uh, CBD stores because I know CBD stores are popping up everywhere. Those are the little cannabis stores. Uh, I mean, colleges everywhere. I mean, you know, you guys know ATMs are everywhere. So you'll be able to go to them, you know, talk to them and say, hey, you know, I see that you don't have an ATM here. Uh, is there a reason why you never put one here? You know, most people, they just never thought about it. And so you can uh, sign a contract with them, set your ATM up, people use it you get paid all in a nutshell, right? You get paid off of the uh, transaction fees and things like that. Uh, and, and you're probably wondering, like, how do you fund your ATM uh, machine? How would you put the money in there? There's a couple of things that you can do. Um, one, as we know, 0% interest credit cards. That's one way to fund it. Another way to fund it is a personal loan um, and things like that. Uh, there's a lot of things that can go into it. But I'll, I'll show you guys exactly how to get that video. Some of you already saw the credit video, so you know. But that's how that works. Uh, then you can set up multiple, you know, ATMs all around your city, and you can be getting paid. A lot of people are making really good money off of these. Uh, and I'll let you do your research on YouTube and stuff like that on ATM businesses and all that, right? Uh, another thing that you guys can do is real estate, right? Whether it be land or houses. So we know that when you invest in things like this, they definitely pay you long term. It's definitely something you can pass down from generation to generation uh, that you can be able to give to your kids, kids or, you know, whoever in your family that you would like to pass stuff down to. So land is always important. As you can see, doesn't really cost as much as you thought. If you still think these prices are high and you don't know how you're going to actually get this kind of money to be able to do this, the video at the end will definitely show you how you can get the money to do this, right? Uh, it's not that hard. It's just a lot of information you never knew, right? And so, for instance, I'll give you guys a perfect example. The The neighborhood that my brother lives in uh, is a new housing addition, right? And so, basically, the people bought the land. They bought the land, and then um, they were, you know, just promoting and advertising, hey, that they have land that people can build houses on, right? And so, when they were going out, Let's say they bought the land for, even though they bought it for more than this, but let's just say they bought it for 6500 right? So they tell people, hey, you know, you can build, we're going to do, we're going to try to start a housing addition. You can build a land, I mean, you can build houses on this land, right? And then, for instance, they would charge per a square footage of the land. And then 
for instance, they would charge like $30,000 for just a, a piece of it for them to build one house. And so basically each part of the, the lot, they would charge around thirty to 40000 just for the land. And then in order for them to get the house built and things like that, it would cost even more. So they would be making a freaking 10x profit on you know whatever they bought the, the land for. So they bought up 6500 and they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars off of it. Uh, and so that could be something you want to do, or maybe you just want to hold land to, to build a garden or, I mean, a farm or whatever, uh, to make profits. And you, you guys can think of different things that you would do with land. Uh, but that's definitely something that you can invest in long-term, uh, to make you some money. Uh, as far as houses go though, check it out. So as far as houses go, real estate is definitely something that you guys uh needs to be a long-term goal for instance i mean for example the reason why is because it is you know definitely a passive income stream and what do i mean by passive you do the work once it pays you over and over again so whenever someone pays their rent or their mortgage or whatever it is you're going to be getting a check every month you know that they're staying in this house and so that's why it's always good, you know, to, to get real real estate. And, and it's a tangible asset, something you can touch and feel, and it's there. You can see it. Uh, now, it's work that goes into it, but then you can hire a property management team and to do all that kind of stuff. But if that's over your head right now, then, you know, over time, it's going to be a long-term goal. But at least I can show you exactly how to get it right now at the level that you're at now within the next, you know, year or so. Uh, but for instance, let's say this house is what $29,000, right? Most people are like, man, I can't afford no $29,000 house just to get in real estate. Well, uh, lucky for you, if it's your first house, let me go to, you know, handy dandy Google right quick. If this is your first house, then you will only have to do a 3.5% FHA loan, right? So let's say the house is 29, let's say I would just do 3.5% of twenty nine thousand dollars right i'll just say twenty nine thousand and let's see what that comes out to so you would only need one thousand fifteen dollars to afford this house and you're probably thinking what yeah yeah you only need a thousand fifteen dollars to move into this house guys all right and so you could go about it that way either uh, it's called house hacking either you could well if it was a duplex it could be house hacking where you could live on one side rent the other side out but in this case um, you would be able to get the house stay in it for a little bit move out move somebody in or you could just as soon as you get it move someone in uh, and they'll be you know paying you or whatever and we can get to all that in another video but you guys get the point and for instance if you were doing a uh, if you already had your first house right meaning you already used your fha loan which is the 3.5 percent you would have to do a conventional loan which is now 20 percent so let's see 20 percent uh and this is the down payment guys 20 percent times twenty nine thousand. so let's see what that comes out to so you would only need fifty eight hundred uh dollars to be able to afford this house to start your real estate career now you're like how am i going to get fifty eight hundred dollars well that's very simple and i'll show you at the end of this video if you haven't already saw that but for those of you who already know how you can get fifty eight hundred dollars you already know what i'm going to say right so that's how you can get the fifty eight hundred uh to be able to do that right and then let's go here another real estate tactic is that you should invest in Okay, so we should be on like number three, I believe, right? ATMs, real estate. So yeah, we still on the real estate thing. Is um wholesaling real estate. Okay, wholesaling real estate. You don't need any money to start, but you do need money to advertise. Okay, so what is wholesaling real estate? Wholesaling real estate. You don't need any certifications or anything like that. You don't have to go to school for it. It's something you can get into real estate for free, and basically all you're doing is selling a contract. Okay, that's it. You're selling a contract. So let me give you an example. Let's say uh, you find somebody who's trying to sell their house, right? You can go in under contract, right? You can go in with your contract and say, hey, I want to put this house. I want to buy. I want to purchase this house. They, they will sell it to you under. You would have them sign the contract that they're going to sell their house to you, right? They, they sign the contract. You then go take that contract, find somebody who wants to buy that house, and then sign the contract over to them. 
and now they own the house and you cut the check, right? So as you can see, people here are making 100000 a month, flipping real estate. I know Matt, I don't know him, but I watch his channel. Um, this guy here, 18000 profit, a uh, check, 7000 in 90 minutes doing wholesale real estate. So people are really profiting big off of wholesaling. Um, like I said, the main thing that you're going to need is to be able to advertise uh, like with yard signs and things like that, social media. But I already told you guys how to have an advertising budget. Again, I told you how to do all this, get all the money that you need to be able to do all this stuff. So if you haven't seen that video, it will be at the end of this one uh, that you'll be able to check out. So wholesaling real estate is another thing that you should invest in, guys. Uh, let's go here. Stocks, bonds, ETFs. This is long term wealth right here that I'm talking about. Uh, if you want to get into stocks and things like that now you can make money if you want to be like a day trader on stocks but if you want to uh, buy and hold kind of like what I'm gonna do with it because I have other income streams uh, this app right here is acorns okay as you can see over a two-year period this guy I watch this channel uh, over a two-year period his his uh, stock portfolio is now forty five thousand um, dollars which is crazy you know, and this is the Acorns app. These are just apps you can download on your phone. You can start putting money in. And basically, whenever you, uh, with Acorns, whenever you put money into it, uh, it automatically automatically puts you in stocks and bonds and ETFs automatically. And it kind of just trades and does it for you. Uh, and then also, whenever you spend money, um, it'll take the spare change and invest it for you. So this is a great app to use. Um if you want to know how do you invest big in this one, uh, what I told you guys before about the 0% interest cards and stuff like that, you can use to invest small amounts, pay it down, and keep investing uh, to build up a, for a portfolio that, you know, can withstand the test of time. And so this is how, you know, you start building that wealth. Now, this money right here is money that you don't really touch. Uh, you kind of just let it build and build and build, and then later on in life, you can grab it. But you can grab it any time, but it's liquid. Like I said, you can pull from it if you ever needed to, but this is long-term wealth uh, type of stuff, as well as this one. This is Robin Hood. As you can see, this guy's stock portfolio is at $211,000. Um, man, so these are people you can check out their channels and stuff as well, so you can kind of see how they invest, uh, how much they put in, and things like that. So... Moving on to the next thing, Cash App. Oh, we got this one. Cash App is another one uh, that's an app on your phone. You can invest in things like Tesla, Walmart, Snapchat, I mean, Apple, everything. So you can do all that directly from the Cash App. Uh, I have a, a few of these uh, purchased on my watch list as well. So definitely look into investing into that, guys. All right. So uh, another thing that you can invest in, right? Another thing is car flipping, right? This is really huge. A lot of people are, they love cars. Uh, even if you don't like car, maybe you liked cars, you just didn't ever know how you were going to get the money to do it. Uh, but like, a, for instance, this car right here, let's see, it's nine, well, about $10,000, right? A 2011 BMW looks really nice, right? And so I think it has about 70,000 miles. Okay, and if you never knew how you would get the money to flip, you know, cars like this and get into the car business, I watch a lot of YouTube. I do a lot of studying, guys, and the guys, everybody's doing the same thing, um, you know, with their credit and things like that, being able to purchase these. So you basically essentially purchase the car, uh, you know, maybe put some fog lights in here, black out that, maybe throw a paint job on it and put some new rims on it, uh, and then you can sell it for even more. So instead of selling it for 10 grand, you could sell it for like 15, right? Uh, make a good profit and you could just keep doing that over and over and over. Uh, but if you don't know how you're going to get the money for this, stay to the end of the video, right? And I'll, you know, post another video that you can see how you can get the money to, but that's one. So car flipping is definitely huge. Uh, I know a lot of people do car shows and things like that. They want to, you know, soup their cars up and stuff like that to make money. Easy. It's easy to do it. Easy to get it done. Uh, a next thing is a home, um, a home based business. Guys, home based businesses are have been around for years. Uh, things like ClickBank, absolutely free to sign up. Warrior Plus, right? Vig Link, JV Zoo. I mean, there's millions of free websites. You can sign up, learn how to promote a product, learn how to sell online. If you need help with that, I do offer coaching. 
one-on-one -on -one coaching and I can walk you through and teach you these things. Just to throw that out there, you know. But uh, so, yeah, home-based businesses is always good to invest in. Um, man, I can't say it enough. I mean, they've been blessing my life big time, right? So let's go to the next one. Snow cone stands, right? Snowball stands, whatever you want to call them. These things right here make money. Do you hear what I'm saying? These things right here make money. So this, you could also invest in someone else's business. So basically, let's say this was someone else's business. So that was my next point. You know, when you when you got, you know, when you invest, you can invest in other people's businesses um, and things like that. So let's say this was fourteen thousand. Let's say either they are. Let's say if they already had the trailer. Um, but they just needed you to invest in the supplies and they would go in on a percentage with you, um, then you could do that, right? And let me tell you, these things make money. Like I said, real quick, let's see. How much do they make? It said wrap around 100 to 2000 a day. I think this is more accurate, 2000 a day, because I talked to a guy uh, that was at the state fair and he was selling uh snow cones and i was asking him it was about a year or so ago I was asking him about how much does he make um you know selling the snow cones and he said he made three hundred thousand in, in two weeks and i'm like man so just imagine turning a fourteen hundred dollar i mean fourteen thousand dollar investment uh into three hundred thousand in a couple weeks by selling snow cones you gotta think it's hot days if you go to a a really good area uh, where where it's super hot and everybody's you know wanting snow cones, you could you could clean house. So this could be something really good to invest in. I would say, uh, man, I would definitely do something like that, which is probably going to be one of my adventures in the future. Not playing, probably have my kids running it or something like that. Uh, but another thing, vending machines. Vending machines are are popular. Uh, they don't really cost as much as I used to think back in the day. Now that I know what I know, but you know, you could buy vending machines, set them up all over the, you know, uh, the states and collect collect cash. Right. There's videos and stuff on YouTube about all of this stuff, guys, that you can research more about. But I'm just giving you ideas that you can invest your money in for 2020. That way you can start having, you know, passive income coming in. Um, oh, this was the how much does vending machines cost? uh or how much do they make so this one is on the smaller amount it says it's earned less than five dollars per week however a well placed vending machine could earn about a hundred dollars per week uh i think it could do more based off what i've seen on youtube a couple people have placed their stuff in like really popular areas or kids areas and you know kids and their parents always wanted to buy some out the snack machine so like I said, you could use these in colleges. You can put these like right close to dorm rooms and food places and things like that. Or put it to somewhere where people may be hungry. They just don't have nowhere to go. So they have to get some out the vending machine. So all kinds of ways you can, you know, make money off of that. Um, the next thing I would say is invest in coaching, mentorship. Uh, for instance, if you want to buy somebody's course, it doesn't have to be mine. But whoever's course, always invest in yourself. Um and learning because that pretty much cuts the learning curve for you so that way you know you don't have to spend three or four years trying to learn something that you know someone can just teach you like right now so always invest in coaching courses and things like that uh definitely research the, the people you know what i mean uh but after that i would say invest in credit repair a guy named rock like what there's a couple other guys uh vance the credit doctor uh you can google him as well uh, there's a lot of other people as well that I'll go over, but credit repair, definitely invest in credit repair uh, big time. All right. The last thing I would say is invest in life insurance, guys. Now, when you invest in life insurance, you can invest in whole life. Whole life insurance is where you can basically uh, have a cash value in there. So you can basically add money to your life insurance policy when you have a whole life, not term, but a whole life. And then uh, as you're adding money to that, whole life insurance policy you can then borrow against it so let's say this is basically the money that you can access while you're still alive if you do term life insurance the only way you can access that money is if you die well you're not going to access it the people who are the beneficiaries on this will be able to access it but if you do whole life um you will be able to uh access the money while you're still alive and some people well most people use it to buy real estate and things like that so it's all type of ways you can flip it 
uh, to make money, guys. But like I said, investing is very important. There's other things out there that you can invest in, guys. Tons and tons of things. But these are just a couple that may get your wheels turning. Uh, but if you are wanting to know how you're going to get the money for all of these things, the video should be popping on the screen. And you can click that. And that's how you can get the money for everything that you want uh, and all the businesses that you want to start and all of that stuff. So hopefully this helped, guys. Like I said, click the video on the screen to find out how you can get the money. I will see you guys in another video. Peace.